Hello guys and welcome to Tech Design. In my previous tutorial, we have discussed about a tap command as well as flange command. If you have not checked that, please go ahead and check it in my channel. So in this tutorial, I will be discussing about counter flange, uh, which is also a very important uh, command in uh, sheet metal workbench. So before going to start a command, we will just create a new file. So this will be a sheet metal file. So I can click OK. So when you click OK, it will take you to you know uh, sheet metal workbench. Please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos so that it will help me to uh, grow my channel better. So this is the sheet metal workbench, uh, <coughs> guys. And uh, in this one, you can see here there is a counter flange uh, which uh, command is existing. So this will be a similar to a tap command. Uh, as I said you uh, tab command if there is no uh, sheet metal you know a feature then it will act at, act as a base command um, if, if any of the sheet metal component is existing then it will you know convert it to secondary so in order to understand that you can just check my tab command uh, video so when you click on a counter flange and since there is no sheet metal feature and it will take a base as the type as you can see here this is a base and it is asking for a section curves so we need to give a section curve by selecting a uh, plane which will take you to you know um, sketcher environment so i'm just going to create a simple sketch here okay and i'll finish the sketch so as soon as you finish the sketch uh, it will take this as a path and uh, it will create in uh, flange as you can see here uh, we have a flange over here and we have two options in here uh, finite value which will be the value that you are giving in the single direction and there is a symmetric value which will be you know symmetric uh, to the plane and if you want to change the direction you can keep it uh, finite and then you can change the direction over here and you can also change the thickness uh, you can go to use a local value here so that it will change it to um, a different value and in this certain uh, you know uh, example we are not having any relief because we don't have any um, adjacent flanges so this is a simple counter uh, flange and we need to understand a meter here so when you give um, activate a meter at a start point this is our start point so when you activate the meter corner so it will trim the uh, surfaces from the start at the start point so this is our start point and you can just enter the value here uh, or angle on which you can you want to you know uh, meter it if it is 20 degree then you can just give it and it will highlight and if you want to uh, you know make the same on the finish side so this is the finish side and you can go to finish and then you can select a meter and you can see here from this it will start uh, you know trimming the flanges so as of now i'll just keep uh, these both off and i'll just create this uh, counter flange as you can see here this is a simple uh, counter flange when you don't have any uh, <coughs> any of the base type of uh, tab here so when you next time when you visit it to a counter flange uh, it will take to secondary uh, type so this secondary type i'm just going to explain it to you now with a, with a having some example model so what i'll do is i'll just create a tab simple tab with a rectangle and i'll finish this now also i'll just create a flange three flanges in all these places and this is full length and let me give it as a 50 mm just keep it as a none and the angle should be 90 degree okay so you can click ok yeah now this uh, model is ready and we have a counter flange and this is now i'm just going to explain you a secondary tab uh, so you need to select a sketch uh, edge here so once you select into edge uh, it will be asking you for uh, just a minute guys you don't need to uh, select it as tangent it should be single curve so 
once you select this you know it is asking for the you know the length where you want to create a sketch so what i'll do is i'll just create it at a zero percentage so that it is a start point of the arc sorry edge so once i click ok uh, as you can see here we have a sketcher environment here i'm just going to draw a simple uh, line and let us make this as a click finish so as soon as you click finish you can see here uh, the counter flange is developed and also we have a, a relief here so this relief will come into picture now now yeah, as you can see here uh, we have a symmetric as well so this will not be cannot be created in a symmetric manner because there is no you know edge and to the end uh, it will take until the until this end and here as you can see here uh, relief is created this complete relief is already similar to whatever we have discussed in the flange command so we can just go to flange and flange video and you can understand how this relief works <coughs> and now we have uh, the other option which is a chain option so i'm just going to explain this chain option with a different model so so now what we will do is we'll just go to chain command uh, the different model so what i will do is i'll just uh, delete these two and let me edit this go into sketch and yeah i'll just create and here trim these extra variants i will finish the sketch so now as you can see here um, our tab is you now modified now uh, if you go to counter flange and uh, you need to select in curve here so i'll just select this curve and make sure uh, this should start from the starting point of the edge so i'll just give it zero percent of arc length and i'll click ok so now we have a uh, point here so in which point we need to create a line okay and finish the sketch so as soon as you finish the sketch you can see here on so because of two end is selected uh, so this has been you know protruded until this point extruded until this end of the point suppose if you give a chain and uh, if it is selected as a tangent curve so this is complete tangent uh, you know edge so one, as soon as i select this edge over here uh, your flange will be created uh, this is very important guys when you are uh, working on sheet metal component so this is a chain uh, command and we also have some close corner uh, some other options over here but these corn these options will not be you know useful uh, when we ha have a tangent uh, edge so what i'll do is i'll just click ok and let me create one more counter flange so go to edge and give zero percentage sorry hundred percentage and click ok now what i'll do is i'll just go to sketch and make a sketch so now what i'll do is i'll just go to uh, chain and i need to select an edge so these are my edges so as soon as the edge is selected uh, you can see the corner is developed over here so since this is a tangent so you will not be having any uh, corner similar like this and this is not a tangent uh, edges so we have um, corner here so we need to activate a close corner here and depending on our requirement you can just check on uh, changing this if it is a open uh, we have an open uh, you know uh, hole here so if you want to give any gap you can just give as gap 1 mm or 2 mm whatever it is so this will trim this uh, you know um, surface and we also have a closed here so let me give this as zero so closed means it will be completely closed and we have a circular cutout 
so there is a circular cutout this circle can be you know controlled using this diameter if you want to change it you can just change it here and bend center so this this circle will be at the center of this bend so if you want to change it you can just give corner points so where uh, the circle will be generated over there and uh, next we have a u cut so which will create an uh, tangency uh, with a circle so which will be the u cut and we have a v cut with some angle and we have a some more one more option called is uh, meter corner so when you have a u cut and then some offset is given so instead of a zero and if we u zero as you can see here this is completely closing and when you give 2 mm and there will be a step here and if you want to you know uh, protrude this cutout until the next then you can just give meter corner over here as you can see here this complete sheet metal is trimmed off so this is how it works guys uh, depending on your requirement you can just uh, play around these options so that uh, it will be easy for you so next whatever the relief is there which is already you know discussed with you bend parameters is also already discussed and this meter command is already uh, whatever we have discussed in base type it this is works in similar manner here as well uh, this is all about a counter flange guys uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as well as share my videos thank you